couple of years ago when I was still down in Miami and I decided to uh, get help from this personal trainer who happened to be a female and she was very attractive and she had me doing something. <laughs> you already know where this is going. She had me <laughs> doing something where I was sitting down and I just had these shorts on with boxers. That's the big mistake, the boxers <laughs> with me. You know, uh, usually I go with the, the tighties because right. let's, let's just say I start getting a semi. Forget about a, a raging hard on, but let's just say a semi. The tighties will help the help the cause. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. kind of keep, keep it tied down. Keep you tied down a little bit. Right. Boxers, you don't have a shot in hell. <laughs> so I got the bo- <laughs> I got the boxers on, and she had me doing something in a position where, like, my legs were back, and as I my legs were back. I felt my dick kind of roll over on my leg. And that, and throughout my history, that means trouble as far as <laughs> what's coming. So I knew it was coming, but I couldn't do anything about it. You know what I mean? I couldn't just go, hey, let's stop. Let's. So it just started happening. <laughs> and then it was like, you remember the, the Incredible Hulk when David Banner, he, the shirt rips out and everything? All of a sudden, my shorts just have this massive bulge. You know, and I'm kind of like trying to hide it. So it was very, and she's looking and she's like, oh, you know, looking away. And I was like, oh, shit. So, yeah, did that you, happened. Did either of you acknowledge this, that this was happening? No way. I did my best to try to like cover it up. And she kept turning her head and I was just hoping for it to go down. You know, I'm like, all right, <laughs> you know, got a deep breaths, you know. Wow. Did that you ever happened. go back to her again? I, I, did, I think I did like one or two other times. It was a short-lived uh, personal trainer experience. Right. But that I'll never forget. Because that was like the one and only time that that really happened. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's really great. Happened. Um, okay. My next question is yep. from Dave W. Uh, he says, I've got a hypothetical question for you. If you could change the size of your penis, would you do it? Would you make it bigger or would you make it smaller? That's a good question. Um, well... No, I would keep it as it is now because, I mean, there are girls that won't, not a lot, but there are a few girls that won't shoot with me because of the size. And, I mean, I just, I could, I'll live with it. You know what I mean? I mean, I, it's unfortunate because I'd love to shoot with as many girls um, as possible without them having any, um, you know, that, that whole apprehensive feeling. I don't think I could take it. So, but that being said, for uh, the girls that I have shot with and I'm, and I'm continuing to shoot with, I'll, I'm happy keeping it as is, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Because, look, I mean, I have a feeling that you never know. At some point, some new guy could roll up and he can, you know, have this massive penis and, you know, who knows? You never know. And you then know? you're only like the second biggest dick in porn? Right. Because, right. <laughs> you, you know, when I got in, the guy who was on my radar was a Mandingo. Yeah. Do you remember him? Oh, yeah. And it was like him and me and really nobody else, you know? Everybody else was kind of looking up, Um, I think. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So he's gone. And now there are some new guys that have come in that are pretty sizable. So for me to still have this, the the title, I appreciate it. And I'm, I'm humbled by it. And, you know, hopefully it'll last for a long time, you know? Yeah. Uh, I just want to ask if you know about like what I consider to be one of the best jokes of quarantine that actually another one of my guests brought up. It was pretty funny. Do you remember when, um, you know, the whole, like obviously the mask mandate came in and they were saying like social distancing six feet apart and then like work shut down. And then Kieran Lee made that great oh, joke yeah. about like how the only person who can work in porn now is oh, dread yeah. because he's the only one you could have sex with and still be six feet apart from. Yeah. I tell you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Kieran. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah. He's a great guy. Every time I see him, he's always got something funny to say something oh, yeah. along those lines. You know what yeah. I mean? But I, yeah, I do remember that. That was hysterical. 